So, currently 6.03. Don't have a lot of time left before I have to go. I'm gonna go have a shower real quick while this plunger is going and then pull the plunger, get ready, get in the car, zoom off to work. What an amazing morning routine. How good's that? This is what it comes to sometimes. I. If I had my choice, I'd love to get up early all the time in the morning and do heaps of stuff, make it like super productive. I feel like even now, like I've only had what, six hours sleep. I still feel like I'm like in a mood to be productive, but it's just because I don't have that time spare. I don't have the spare time uh, before I go to work to, to do that. Like I'd have to get up at like 4 a.m. and still have that like couple hours of window before I have to go in order to get the stuff that I want done. Like ideally I'd like to study, exercise. If I don't have to study, then I like to do like admin or, you know, maybe it's like editing or maybe it's like working on some other stuff. You know, I really like find that time to like respond to emails or, you know, do, do productive admin stuff. But not today, not today. Anyways, let's go get ready. So, morning three. Very tired today. Just woke up at 6.08. I had a sleep yesterday when I got home, which is nice. So, I didn't need that much sleep last night, but still stayed up late for some reason. And then, only waking up now. 10 past six, so. This morning routine is gonna be pretty quick because I'm gonna, I'll have woken up 20 minutes before I wanna leave. So pretty much all I'm gonna do, speedy shower, make some coffee and then get in the car and go. And we're not gonna have too much time to do anything else. Holy, I'm so wrecked. I need to get up earlier one day. I feel like Monday was the first day that I just like, you know, got up early, got some stuff done. It was actually really productive, but the last two mornings, they've been terrible. <laughs> I sort of knew this was gonna happen, but yeah. I guess it does happen when, you know, you have other stuff going on and you're not too like concerned with like getting other stuff. You need like actual sleep. And I feel like at the end of the day, that's what you prioritize. If you have to have a little bit more sleep so that the day is like a little bit more productive rather than the actual morning, then that has to be the case. So yeah, oh, I feel like you know, yesterday was like really, I feel like yesterday afternoon though was pretty productive. So you'll see it in a different video, but my afternoon or like my evening routine after I get home, I feel like I did like a lot there. Like I was like, I got home at like 3.30 or so. And then like, cause it was on my half day. And then I was able to like, you know, tidy up. I was able to go for like a walk. We like had dinner and stuff. And it was like pretty like nice. Like I got some stuff done for work and some study. And yeah, I think it was just like a much more productive afternoon. And I used that productivity for the afternoon, not the morning. So yeah. Anyways, let's go get ready uh, because I need to head off in what? Four seconds. That's not long. That is not long at all. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so a bit of a whirlwind. Um, still actually going on my morning routine. Boy, oh boy, has it been a bit of an interesting one. Um, let's recap. Well, not exactly how I thought I'd start today. Two and a half Ks from home, flat tire, need to get it changed. Lot to do today. Very far from work. Um, all right, watch this space. 
currently in the middle of the road waiting for a tow truck to come and uh, come and save me. Hopefully they can just tow me to a place and then they can change my tire and away we go. Until that time, they said it was going to be up to two hours. So, oh, I haven't even had coffee this morning. Oh my God, this sucks. This really sucks. Okay, so update. Tire guy is going to be 60 minutes away before he gets here, like the tow truck repair guy. They also said if there's any other damage, it's not the tire, that they won't tow me and I'll have to organize my own tow. So if they come here and they'll be like, oh no, it's all like all this other stuff, then I don't know. I'll have to organize my own tow truck, which is outrageous. Anyways. Apparently they're gonna be another hour before I get it anyway, so I'm gonna to have to go walk and go get a coffee because there's nothing else to do, honestly. Let's do that. Let's go walk and get a coffee. So I have returned. So we're just gonna wait, I guess. I might give this tire place a call. So we had to change tire places because the one that I was gonna to go to, I called up and they're like, oh, we're panel beaters, mate. And I don't know what that means. So I said, oh, okay, so you don't do tires? And they're like, yeah, no, we don't do tires. I was like, oh, cool. So where else does tires? And they mentioned some other place. But I found another place, different place to what they mentioned that is closer to me. So we're just going to go there instead. They open now because it's like 8 o'clock. So I'm going to give them a call and see if they'll fix my tire. So I guess um, times like this, uh, we've just got randomly whole bunch of time sitting on the side of the road maybe i'll do some study maybe this is the moment that i have been waiting for to do some study if i break down my car every morning do i get to skip the water around do study go get coffee not have to work i mean maybe this is the solution it would be a very expensive solution but um and not all that great because i have a whole bunch of stuff that i need to do today but <laughs> well yeah i'm just missing meetings Missing ward rounds, missing like clinic that I have to go to. It's not great, but uh, hey, maybe you get to do some study now. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so uh, cars is being towed now, which is, uh, which is really good. It's been a whole two hours of wait. And yeah, here we are now. Yeah. What a morning, I didn't expect this. So in terms of my morning routine, um, this is probably my best one. I said it was gonna be the worst morning routine, but um, actually been very good. So just quickly, was driving to work and then hit a little thing on the road uh, has cooked my tire and the wheel and the frame itself. So that car was undrivable. I needed to organize a tow truck to the nearest tire repair, repair place. They were like, this is more than just the tire. The wheels like shifted back or something. So um, that's great. And they were like, oh yeah, you, have you got like a new wheel and stuff? I was like, yeah, of course, got a new wheel. In the boot, open up the wheel, guy looks at it, says, yeah, nah, this is, uh, this is no good, this wheel. Someone has just chucked it in the boot. Um, that sounds like a thunderstorm's coming as well. It was like, yeah, nah, this, uh, this wheel's um, terrible. You're gonna need like a new wheel. Um, I'm like, oh, where do I get a new wheel? Don't you have them here? Look around, there's like heaps of wheel looking things, circular, round things at a tire repair place. You'd think they'd have wheels. No, 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 no wheels here, just tires. Uh, all right, I don't even know what a wheel is compared to a tire. If you had to delineate the difference between a tire and a wheel, I've got no idea. Anyways, they say they can eventually sort something from like a different place, whatever. Um, they say, yeah, leave it here. We need to keep it for at least one to two days, see what's going on, amazing. Uh, that's great news for me. I have to drive half an hour to work every day. Um, my fault, to be honest. So let's just reiterate that, not blaming anyone but this idiot right here. So then got an Uber back here. Was only driving for like a couple of couple of Ks. Now we're here, we've dropped off our other stuff that was in the car, brilliant. Um, and now we've just organized a hire car for the next couple of days to get us through the week. Hopefully that will be enough and we won't have to um, do anything for the uh, 
for the car and hopefully it gets fixed by the end of the week. We're not working the weekend, which is good. We have a chance to reset. If this car is out of action for longer, then I wonder what we're gonna do because I really like having a car. It's actually the best thing, but yeah, this is gonna be interesting. It looks like a thunderstorm's coming. I need to go to work. I have clinic on right now and there is an operating list in the afternoon that I need to get to. So we're gonna to have to walk to the car hire place, which is about 15 to 20 minutes walk away, get the keys, drive to work, and then hopefully we'll get there around about on time. What a brilliant morning routine. This is, see, I was thinking like, oh, it's like so, uh, so boring. I get up late, I just drive, drive to work. No, this is what happens now. They knew, I think someone knew that I was gonna make this video uh, about my morning routines and yeah, this is terrible news, but we'll make the most of it. Okay, I need to go to work because I've been trying to get to work for hours now. So I'll see you later and hopefully I don't come back here. So just got my car, um, Uber car share. How good, walked about 15 minutes to get it. And now it's time to go to work. It's 11 o'clock, let's get there. Uh, we've had enough mucking around. Let's take two, um, try and get to work on time. Okay, let's go. Good morning. This is not enough time to get ready. This might be the quickest morning routine. I know I said that yesterday, but hair in the mouth. I feel like back at school and you know, I have to get up for like a morning sport and we have to leave by a certain time. And I don't know, mum was really nice. She'd like have the, she'd have the coffee on. She'd have like some like raisin toast or whatever before we like left. So I could literally eat that in the car and drink the coffee. Sorry, I wouldn't eat the raisin toast. That would be for after, the, uh, after my training. What I would usually eat is like, it depends, like it was mainly in summertime where I would um, uh, get up this early to like go and like do morning training. I would leave by like six or just before six actually. So they were really nice to drive me there and stuff. But um, I'd usually just have a coffee and I would also have like, if it was available, I like, I'd love some like mango in the morning. It was so good. Um, yeah, but uh, yesterday was obviously way too busy. Um, the car, and then this like random pipe, <laughs> which they didn't finish until like midnight. And I was like, oh, so I had such a good plan to like go to bed at like 9.30 and like be super prepared and rested because the day before I got absolutely no sleep. And then this whole thing deteriorated and I was like, oh, I just like, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. But um, we're going to coffee it. We're going to, we've just showered. We just like literally rolled out of bed and then went into the shower. Um, we've had six hours of sleep. Uh, we've got a fair few things to do this morning. We've got a morning operating list. We've got handover because we are on call the night before. A different person was taking phone calls. We've got to do a ward round. We've got a fair few patients in. And we've got other stuff to sort out from yesterday. Uh, because yesterday was absolutely chockers. Um, let's get to it. And let's get in the car and get going. Have a good day. I'll see you guys later on. Oh, I'm so tired.
just making some little snack and then you accidentally drop the blueberries on the floor and then this is what happens. Ah, oh, this sucks. <laughs> You can just ask me to play cards. You don't have to come and vacuum near me. You didn't even do anything. That's it. What did you vacuum? You vacuumed one line. So, there you have it. A week of morning routines. Seven days in a row, you get to see how it actually works for me in the mornings working full time as a doctor. I guess, I don't know if you can take anything away from it, at least me watching back a little bit of this footage. You can just see that it all doesn't go to plan pretty much 100% of the time. It starts off with a plan, which is the best thing you can do and sort of the only thing that matters in the end. As long as you have like the intention and you have a basic framework or blueprint, then most of the stuff sorts itself out in the end. I mean, that was a slightly more chaotic, uh, different week than what I would be used to and I did not plan it. We started the week like pretty good, like we had good intentions with it and then it all just like went pear-shaped halfway through with the whole car situation and then yeah, we just made the most of it in the end. But some mornings I have a really good routine where I have like, I mean, I'm filming this a couple days after I've finished all this filming and stuff. And I don't know, like the last couple of days I've had like good eight hour sleeps. I've been like going to bed at like nine, waking up at like 5 a.m. and having a good like hour or so of study beforehand a nice relaxing morning. I get to do some personal admin and things like that. And other mornings where I'm like chockers, pedal to the metal, like, you know, doing everything that I can. I just wake up, shower, and then go to work. Sometimes that's what the morning routine looks like. Other times it's very planned. It's very like, you know, nice and therapeutic. But I think just having the understanding that that is not always how it, how it works. So yeah, you, you might stay up late the night before, you might have a late finish to work. You might do a whole bunch of overtime. You might go out for dinner with some friends or have some event on during the week. That's gonna impact your next morning. And I guess just understanding that having like a day off here and there, but then resetting and getting back to your actual routine in the end is uh, it's not a bad idea. So, all right, we're gonna do evening routine as well. So stay tuned for that coming up soon. But otherwise, I'll let you go. You can tell me if my morning routine's terrible or not. <laughs> Probably is, but whatever. It works for me. It's not much. It's just fit in as much as you can before you go to work. So it takes off less pressure when I get home. And I think I just prefer to do stuff in the morning. So 
that's much much better for me than coming home and then deciding to do stuff i'm much more of an early bird so yeah there you go bye